Good day. In this video, we're going to do the proof that reads angle at the center of a circle is equal to 2 times the angle at the circumference. I'm just giving it a heading that says angle at center, angle at circumference. So we're going to do that theorem. The theorem, you must be able to write in a paragraph or complete the paragraph if they start it for you. But here is the theorem. It says the angle subtended by an arc at the center of a circle is double the size of the angle subtended by the same arc at the circle, of course, on the same side of the chord as the center. But this bracket part you can leave out. The abbreviation acceptable is angle at center is 2 times angle at circumference. If you have a creative enough, you can also write angle at center, angle at circumference as your reasons when you're busy with your riders. In all my videos, I'm going to use this abbreviation. Let's just get our brains around these big words. The angle subtended by an arc at the center of the circle. So here is the arc. The angle is subtended. That means the angle is lying opposite this arc. So here's the arc. Opposite is at the center. Subtending this arc is opposite there. That's what means subtending. So the angle subtending the arc. Subtending the arc. This angle will be twice as big as that angle over there. On this picture, here is my arc. The angles subtending this arc means opposite. There it is at the center. And there's the angle op subtending the arc. So here's the arc. It subtends that angle and subtends that angle. The word subtend is big. Last drawing, there's the arc. There's the angle subtending the arc. There's another angle subtending the arc. So there's the angle at the center. And there's the angles not at the center. So this angle is twice that angle over there. Again, the last time, just the words. The angle subtended by an arc, opposite this arc, at the center of the circle is double the size of the angle subtended, it's opposite it, by the same arc at the circle circumference. Now we're going to do the proof of this theorem. When they ask us the proof, the beginning of the question is always the same. They will ask us this, which I'll read now to you. But they can give you any one of these three sketches. We will start with this one first. The question will read, they give you arc ACB down here of circle with center O subtending angle AOB at the center and APB the angle at the circle that angle at the outside so this arc is subtending this angle and that angle is what they're saying they ask us to prove that AOB is equal to 2 times APB which I just explained to you the first thing we do is you draw a line from P to O and extend it. Then you fill in this 1 and 2 here and 1 and 2. So this is P1, P2, O1 and O2. The M is not necessary if you don't want to use it. So this is what you will do and what you will write. Firstly, you will draw your line through P O to M. You say here in your proof, you say draw P O M through O. Then we write in triangle A P O, the green one here. O1 is equal to P1 plus A. And your reason is exterior angles of a triangle. So the red one over here, O1, is equal to the purple one and the purple one there. Then you will write P1 equals to A. Of course, they are opposite equal radii. Then we will say O1 equals to 2 times P1. The P1 and the A is the same. So P1 plus A, I can just go P1 plus P1. Now, if you go into triangle OPB, the blue one, you can similarly just write O2 is equal to 2 times P2. Then we will write O1 plus O2, which is this whole angle here, is equal to 2 times P1 plus 2 times P2, which we got from this information. Then we write O1 plus O2 is 2 times P1 plus P2. I factorize the 2 out. And then we have our final answer. AOB is equal to 2 times APB that we were asked to prove. If they give you this sketch and ask you exactly the same question to prove that the angle at AOB here is 2 times APB, this theorem is 100% the same as the previous one we just did. So you must stop the video and just look at it. But it will work the same way, so I'm not going to prove this one. So the angle here at O1 is the same as P1 plus A. P2 
P1 is the same as A because of the radii again. Similarly, the O2 is equal to 2 times P2. And then at the end, we get to the situation in both the same figures. And we get our final answer. I'll spend a little bit of time on this sketch. If they ask you to prove that AOB, the angle over here, is 2 times the angle here at P, you just have to find out where to draw the line. Exactly the same as the previous one, the proof says, draw POM, so from P through O to M. We have to prove that the AOB is equal to 2 times the APB. The red one is twice as big as the purple one. Again, in triangle APO, the green one, let's just, let's just see it please, angle O1 is equal to P1 plus A. So the O1 outside there is equal to the P1, the small one in P, plus the A over here. Exterior angles of a triangle. Then we know that P1 is equal to A, the two blue ones I indicated there, because they're opposite the radii, same as the previous one. So O1 is again twice as big as P1. Now similarly, going into triangle OPB, OPB, we write Similarly, in other words, O2 will be 2 times as big as P2. O2 over there will be twice as big as the whole P2 over there. I moved our proof just to this side over here. So it's exactly the same as the first two proofs. And now from here, there's a small change. Now remember, to find that red angle to be twice as big as that blue one, I have to take that O2 minus the O1 to get that piece and take the P2 minus the P1. So that's what we need to go. So this is what we'll do. So O2 minus O1 will be the same as 2 times P2 minus 2 times P1. Then we factorize the 2 out. Then we have our final proof. Angle AOB is equal to 2 times angle APB. I know this was a mouthful. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video. You can also subscribe to the channel. If there's anything you're not sure about, you can send a WhatsApp with a picture to this number with your problem. We will analyze it, make a video, and post it for free on this channel that other people can benefit from your question. Enjoy the geometry.